I can take out this last squad. Have you farmed orc stores? What the fuck? <laughs> you fucking crazy motherfucker. Phew! Inside the next ring. I love this. This is sick, man. You win, man. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck, man? What the fuck? <laughs> Good fucking game. You are the Apex champions. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. As I mentioned with my advanced Pathfinder Pro Tips video, I am doing this how to get in every tree video, basically. And I know you've seen a bunch of videos with like getting in those little trees, but I bet you didn't know you could get in these massive trees as well. Now, obviously, this does take a lot of practice. Like, you need to know your t territory in order to get to it. You need to have been there maybe once or twice to figure out the exact physics of that area. But a lot of people just don't know about these places in general, and I thought I'd just highlight some of them, because you can get in some pretty ridiculous places. So we're gonna be covering pretty much every type of tree in this video. Now, let's just um, be real for a moment. Not all of these trees allow you to get on them. These like medium sized trees that you see here that are very bushy, very dense. Um, they basically, they're just so difficult. I've never managed to get in one of these. I, I don't know the physics on these trees. I, I think there's like an invisible top because I just tend to go straight through it sometimes and bounce off of lower sections of the tree. So I, I think the physics of this tree is just so impossible. It's not even worth your time trying to learn how to get in it because the whole point of knowing these tiny little locations is to give you spots where people just aren't gonna look or or suspect you to be now obviously people are going to use this to camp but let's be real these are spots that are still useful for those that maybe need to quickly pop a hill maybe you've got a free team of wingman hunting you down on like low health and you just need somewhere that you can zip wire into or climb up to and just lose them for two seconds like it these trees can be used for a lot more than just camping mate say here you just want to get an advantageous position on your enemies and you want to get those first bullets in like people just don't look up I'm telling you now, in my entire time, I have been doing pure tree freaking gameplay for this video. Not a single person has ever found me in a tree. And it's not because I'm just that amazing or that high hidden that well. It's just because people don't look up. It's because people don't know about these spots as general common knowledge yet. Like everyone seems to be knowing about the small little green trees. Yeah, sure. And we'll go over them later. But these trees, like, you can get in all these trees. And, like, here, I've got an entire team below me, the final team. They think they have the high ground on top of the house. So they're not bothering to look up. But I'm right above them. I've been, I, I've been above them for, like, four minutes just seeing how long, like, it takes people to notice me. And people just don't. 
Now, like those moisty my trees, you can get in some of the old broken trees and some of the smaller moist moisty mire. Wow, Fortnite reference. You can get used to this into the swamp trees, into the smaller ones. But some of the top, really tall ones, you can't get into. It's got that rounded top that won't allow you to get in it. Now, basically, how the physics of these trees work is: imagine it's like a totem pole with a little flat top. The little green trees, theirs is like kind of diagonal. You have to climb up it at a diagonal kind of level. And these little green trees are all different. As you can see here, like some of them, they're too tall for you to even get into. But right now, like I, I have been loving just to use these trees to play around with teammates, to not teammates, but enemies, to play around with entire teams and just mess with their heads. Like there, I, I basically got pinned by two squads that one on the other side of the caves and one behind that started shooting at me and i'm like look i haven't even got any shield right now so i quickly pop into here shield up and then i'm like you know what this is quite fun they're, they're, they're literally just cr i'm in one of the tiniest trees that you can get in i am standing out very much so against the green leaves and the like the the brownish orangish cave like background but people just don't look up into these spots and i'm like you know what? i'll just pop them just just annoy them just try and confuse them like trip them out like so they don't have a clue what's going on because the circle's getting smaller and i'm thinking you know what i've got two teams in between me right now if i can annoy these guys to start fighting each other this will work out well for me and i won't even have to do anything so guess what happens while well, this pathfinder and the other guys like make it check in that there wasn't someone here their wraith sets up a portal and they go get into a fight and my work plan works out perfectly i get to go off and let those guys fight it out and like people just don't look in these trees but they're so easy to get into if you need to quickly pop a hill right the fact is you don't want to bother trying to get into some difficult tree because like you haven't practiced it or you, you don't know how to get into it because you don't want to spend like three four attempts trying to get in there and you end up dying because the enemies have caught you up or something like that but it like i thought this video would help because the trees are very simple to get into once you know just imagine they're just like a stick with a flat top like i said earlier a totem pole almost and some of them lean slightly like the smaller trees the very small trees they lean um, a diagonal level like the ones I'm in now um, and they don't even seem that tall but once you get in it raises you right up to like near the top of the tree and people just can't seem to see you and like here I managed to pull off some plays but not quite now obviously there's going to be a lot more trees that Pathfinder can get to, into than others and the palm trees are one of the best in the game like seriously these are just kind of a little op just purely because no one as i said looks up that's going to be quote of the day written in the comments no one looks up but the, the fact is no one looks up and you can just hide crouch turn you can even move a tiny bit there's a tiny like surface area where you can move left and right forward and back a very much tiny bit but the best part about pathfinders grapple is like say for example a wall you know when you grapple onto a wall you don't even need to press anything it just he grapples and then holds onto the wall that's his automatic animation well it does the exact same thing with the tops of trees if you grapple the top of a tree you can completely take your hands off the mouse and keyboard you can completely let go of the controller the animation of that grapple will pull you directly to the tree or he'll even make you grab uh, he'll either make you hold on to the edge of it or he'll just most of the time he'll actually pull himself up and on top of the actual tiny little surface area so you don't need to do anything now say you're not pathfinder you can still use those giant balloons you can either jump off of them and land on top of the tree like i did then or you can fly down and you can just land on the edge of it and it will again put you in that automatic um climbing motion with any legend it doesn't have to be pathfinder it's just the grapple effect with pathfinder now the these trees over like in the wetlands by the uh, pine forest and all that these again very similar to the pine trees are very powerful in terms of getting you advantage especially if you're a sniper you need to escape like say someone point blank range you can literally just run around behind the tree 
grapple straight up and nine times out of ten no one's even going to think you're hiding on top of the tree they're going to think you swung somewhere to get away from them um and it's pretty like ridiculously powerful as i said no one's ever found me while i've been in these trees and i've gotten so many kills so many plays out of it and probably one of the best trees if you're not pathfinder is these big oak trees these are very few there's only a few of them hidden over the map but you can fit at least 20 people in these trees. The, the You can get up all three branches and like it's all about just learning these spots because as i said if you don't want to fail and end up dying because you're failing because you don't know the spot the best thing to do is just test out these spots so that if you do need to use it in an emergency or you want to make a unique play you can try it out like here i'm teaching this other random that was in my group on like how to get in these trees and he's like oh wow this is cool um but yeah other than that i hope you enjoyed the video like subscribe and i'll see you soon for more apex tutorials and fortnite maps.